Let's get to the monkeypox outbreak. Uh, this morning, the World Health Organization will hold a news conference on the latest public health threat spreading uh, worldwide. And again, uh, there are a number of cases. We're not seeing a high number of cases, but higher than is comfortable for the World Health Organization. Uh, this is the Biden administration increases access to vaccines for those most at risk. Ileana Diaz is live at the Florida Department of Public Health headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. Ileana. Good morning, Adrian. White House officials are trying to make it easier to get tested and say their top priority is getting more vaccines to those people who have been exposed to the virus. They say that their goal is to deploy 1.6 million vaccines by this fall. And nearly 32 different states have had officials reach out to either the White House or the CDC requesting either more testing or more vaccines for the monkeypox. So far, the White House has deployed over 9,000 doses of the vaccine, but that number will go up soon as part of the White House officials' new vaccine strategy. They'll be deploying 296,000 doses of the monkeypox vaccine over the next couple of weeks. 56,000 of those are ready immediately, and the monkeypox vaccine requires two doses. And the number of monkeypox cases continue to go up. Worldwide, there are more than 3,400 people who have the virus. In the United States, there are 306 monkeypox cases. Now, here's a breakdown of the states with the highest number of cases and the highest risk of exposure. California currently has 66 cases, New York 63, Illinois 45, Florida 27, and Washington DC currently has 20 cases. Now White House officials say they're also focused on making testing easier. The CDC has expanded their testing to 48 states now, and they say they'll be able to test roughly 10,000 people every week. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.